Trump's choice for ambassador to Israel has said he sees no need for a ceasefire in Gaza and opposes U.S. policy calling for the establishment of a Palestinian state. Former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee, a former TV host and Baptist preacher, describes himself as a Zionist and is a strong supporter of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. For more on Huckabee's appointment, international correspondent Giles Gibson joins us now from Tel Aviv. Uh, Giles, good morning. How have Israeli officials reacted to Huckabee's appointment? Well, the foreign minister here in Israel, Gideon Saar, has described Mike Huckabee as a long-standing friend of Israel. Uh, the far-right finance minister, Bezalel Smotrich, has said that together they can work to strengthen Israel's security. But we have to also say that Mike Huckabee has a very long history of making uh, controversial comments both about the Palestinians as a whole uh, as well as the West Bank. Take a listen to him speaking uh, in an interview back in 2017. I think Israel uh, has title deed to Judea and Samaria. Uh, there are certain words I refuse to use. The, there is no such thing as a West Bank. It's Judea and Samaria. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as a settlement. Their communities, their neighborhoods, their cities. Uh, there's no such thing as an occupation. So the implication of what Mike Huckabee is saying there is that the whole of the West Bank should belong to Israel, which is really bucking what successive U.S. administrations have said over the years, that uh, much of the West Bank would be part of a new Palestinian state, uh, part of a, a two-state solution, as it's known. And with a new administration and new ambassador, how does this change those ceasefire negotiations and a path forward uh, for the war in Gaza? Well, you were just talking about the new defense secretary or the nomination to be uh, the defense secretary and and really what we're seeing is this trend amongst this incoming trump team of people who are yes very strong supporters of israel and potentially of uh, benjamin netanyahu the israeli prime minister but people who just don't have any real experience in terms of diplomacy or national security and you could say that same thing about mike huckabee he's currently of course a, a talk show host uh, he spent just over 10 years as the governor of arkansas but really he's never served in any sort of a national security or a foreign diplomacy role uh, these different nominations that we're seeing the belief is that they're going to give a freer hand to the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu uh, in terms of the wars in Gaza and southern Lebanon, uh, the humanitarian situation in Gaza, as well as any potential uh, ceasefire or hostage release deals. Uh, and just finally, we should note that Mike Huckabee's uh, nomination has to go through a Senate confirmation process. But of course, the Republicans are due to take back control of the Senate uh, from January next year.